Chapter 2 Fun with Numbers Hi Priya, how's the math going? Going great, Abu. That's good. Why don't we have some more fun with numbers, shall we? So here's an example for numbers. Now we have Priya, Raj, and John, and they were going to the beach to collect shells. Priya collected 47 shells. Let's write that down. Now we have Raj. Let's write this down too. He collected 36 shells. And John collected 51 shells. Who do you think collected the most? Here we can see John collected the most shells. Now how many more shells should Raj collect to have 40? Now we know Raj over here, as you can see, has 36 shells now. 36 plus 4 equals 40. So, he should collect, as we can see over here, four more shells to have 40 in total. Now, how many did Priya and John collect together? Now, let's try adding that up. So, we have, as you can see over here, we've got 47 plus 51 equals 98. So, we can say John and Priya together collected 98 shells. Now if we add two more shells to 98, how many shells do you think we get? Let's try that. Let's write it down. There's 98 plus 2 equals 100. That is how we write 100. Now let's write down numbers from 100 in words, shall we? Okay, here we go. That is 100, 101, 102, 103, let's move on a bit to 111, 112, 124, 137, 148, 156, 160, 187, 199, and then we have 200, 202, and so on. I hope you're getting the hang of this. Now here, let's try something else. I have a grid of numbers with a few blank spaces in them. Now let's fill the grid with the numbers that we see over here. As you can see, the numbers over here are 158, 206, 169, 187, 124, 143, 230, 180, 200, and 345. So if we look at the grid, we have 112, and then we have 130. From these numbers that you see over here, what number do you think comes between 112 and 130? Hmm, let's see. We have 124. Yeah, 124 comes after 112 and before 130. Okay, great, so let's go on to the next one. Now we have 130, let's see what possibly could come after 130. If we look over here, we have 143. So let's write 143 down. What do you think comes before 165? So let's look at the numbers over here. We have 158. Does that come before 165? Yes, it does. Great. So let's write that down. Now we need a number that comes between 165 and 174. Hmm. Let's take a look at these numbers over here. What do we have? That is 169. Yep, 169 comes before 174 and after 165. Great. Now let's go on to the next one. Now we've got 174. Now what comes after 174? Let's look at these numbers again. We have 180. Okay, great. So let's put 180. We know that comes after 174. And we have over here 187. So let's write that down over here, 187. 
which also comes before 195, great. So let's move on to 195 now. What comes between 195 and 217? So let's go back to looking at these numbers. We have 200 comes after 195. Let's write that down. 200. And we have 206 that comes before 217. So let's write that down. Great. Next in the grid, we've got 224. What comes between 224 and 238? Let's look at these numbers again. There we go, we have 230. That's right, 230 comes before 238 and after 224, great. Now let's do the last one over here. We have 238 and now we finally have 345 over here. So let's write that down. Great, you guys did wonderful. All right, so let's move on to the next one.